We're at the gym in Christian Sun, and um, it's been open now for like two months. Last time we were here, it was not open, and uh, it's still not completely finished. There are still some things that need to be done, like the training room is not completely finished. I'm really excited to show you guys how it looks like now, and I'm also really excited to just bowler a lot today. So I gotta say, this looks nothing like last time I was here. Just look at this. Okay, before uh, we continue, I want to announce today's sponsor, NordVPN. I guess a lot of you don't know what a VPN is, so this is how it works. So if this is you, normally all your data is going directly to the server. But if you have NordVPN, everything passes through one of their servers where it's being encrypted and passed on. They have more than 5,200 super fast servers in 59 countries. No data logging, 24 seven customer support, 30 day money back guaranteed. The main reason that I'm using NordVPN is because then I can watch Netflix from any country that I want. And right now they have a uh, special Black Friday deal. So if you buy a uh, two year plan, you get four months for free. If you just go to nordvpn.com forward slash magnet and you check out using the coupon code magnet, Thank you NordVPN once again for sponsoring today's video. Uh, in this video, I'm only gonna show you like the climbing because that wasn't completely finished last time. And uh, I'm gonna try all the new problems that I haven't tried before. I still see like the orange one is still there, uh, the one I did last time. But first I'm gonna show you the walls. Um, so you have one mushroom here, one over there. And then there's the old bouldering wall uh, over there. We had like a separate opening for that. And we were open for uh, four or five months. And then we closed down and we renovated the whole building. This mushroom, that's maybe the steepest part. It's very uh, three dimensional. You see the angles change a lot. And then there's the other mushroom behind me here. That's the Rangni mushroom. We sponsor this one. You can see the logo is on top. And then obviously the main wall is here. The structure wall is not my favorite, I've said that before, but it's good for beginners and it kind of looks cool. It looks like real rock. Uh, the problem with the structure wall is that you can't really put big holes on it. Uh, so you can't really change the wall a lot. Uh, you can climb without even using holes. So on all the other walls, uh, you see the angles are more flat. There are large angles and that gives more creative freedom to the root setters. And then in here, there's like a, uh, I guess a beginner's wall, just completely flat. It's nice to have a separated area for like uh, courses or uh, groups of people. Uh, it's a little bit isolated away from everyone else. Um, so it's nice and quiet. And there's actually just in that little corner, there's a lot of climbing. It's pretty big. And then there's the little training area right here. I feel like every gym now has a beast maker. And I mean, it's cool because we can all share uh, the training methods when we all use the same uh, uh, kind of hangboard. And the campus is not very big. I guess it should have been a little bit bigger. This is the, the moon board that you all know, but we don't have the moon board holes yet. So we just put a bunch of other holes there. Uh, the kilter board, personally, I think the kilter board is nicer. Uh, maybe not as many hard prompts on it. I might try some, uh, some of the prompts uh, later if I run out of prompts uh, in the gym. And then there's the old bouldering wall. Uh, so this was uh, put up like a year ago. Then we closed the gym and everything else was put up. I also like the colors in this gym, the light gray with the darker color. I think it looks really nice. And then there's the kids wall uh, up there. That's a pretty creative uh, wall. Uh, like a pirate wall or something two kids can compete against each other in the net. So that is pretty creative. I think it looks fun. And that's important, you know, because uh, we do want everyone to, uh, to feel welcome here. It's not only for good climbers, it should be for absolutely everyone. And uh, like a gym with good uh, kids climbing and beginner climbing is good for, uh, for uh, recruiting more people to the sport. Uh, it was made by Friction Walls the company that made all the walls here. So I'm only gonna do new prompts in this uh, vlog. I don't know, I think it would be fun to also try some uh, some kilter board. I've never filmed kilter board or moon board or any board in my video. So um, the nice thing about it is that you guys can try it yourself if you have uh, a kilter board. And I'm not sponsored by kilter to say this. I just wanna try it. There's no grade. 
on it, but it doesn't look so bad. Start with some slabs, that's always fun. This is 60 plus, and the blue one is also 60 plus. The walls are pretty high here. I'm pretty sure they're higher than the walls in Oslo. Okay, the black one looks a little bit more tricky. This wall has some harder problems. This black one looks like it has a jump start. I think that one was easier than the green 7A actually. Also 7B. Strange one with all the balls. Orange 7A. Okay, let's switch walls. I think there are some harder problems on this wall. So there are two new 7Cs there. I'm first gonna try the blue one, that looks really cool. so bad for the grade. I just had like one really hard move. On this black one I think you're supposed to do like a, a big traverse first to the right and then back left. But it looks like you can skip that whole part if you just do like one big move. I'll try the intended way too, just to compare it. 
So you're supposed to go out to this, I guess, and then take this and then to the pinch. That does not seem easier. I mean, that way it might actually be 7C. I think cheating it like I did was definitely easier. I don't know if you remember, but last time we were in Christiansand, we said that we were gonna do some deep water soloing. Uh, it's just like a 10 minute hike from here. You ready for an adventure, Marta? Yeah, I'm not sure if I am. <laughs> I'm not sure if I am either, to be honest. It's uh, 15 meters high, the cliff. That's mm -hmm. all we know. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. The routes were pretty easy, so I climbed up once, and it was really hard to film. Uh, so the, like, the film was really, really shaky. And then uh, when it was Marta's turn, uh, she fell in, and she kind of panicked a little bit. I don't think I can think too much about uh, what's about to happen. I just need to do it, I think. No! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I was hanging from the rope with my camera and I had to attach the camera to the rope and rappel into the water with my clothes on, everything got wet and I had to swim and get her and help her out of the water. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, I got like one meter up and then um, I was so tired from just getting to the root uh, and then I fell into the water and I I didn't get a panic attack, I think, but I, like, I, pa I completely panicked. It was really low down, but it was scary to think uh, what could have happened if she fell higher up, because she was determined to try to climb the whole cliff. We didn't really get any footage from that day, and I was like going back and forth whether or not I should make a vlog out of it. So I actually just climbed the other route, and we filmed it with uh, the drone, but I forgot to remove the clamp thing. So uh, there's no footage, <laughs> like an unlucky day. I think that was the first video that I filmed and did not upload. That's funny actually. So this uh, one that we thought was like 60 plus, Marta tried it and now it's been upgraded to 7B. So that one was actually really hard. Uh, you just choose a bowler that looks nice. So I'm gonna go and uh, just crank this all the way up here. This is 7C plus. Alright, so the cool thing about this is that, I mean, anyone can try this like anywhere in the world. But this is the 12 by 12, 40 degrees angle. And it's kind of cool that like, you can try the same problem in like, I don't know, Japan or Norway or the US. Like, this exact same problem is somewhere else in the world. I also like the moon board. That's also a very good system. It's a little bit more hardcore. It's like very fingery. Okay, I'm gonna find something harder. Here's an 8A plus. It only has two ascents. So this one 
tiny holes. Blue is for uh, hands and uh, yellow is for feet and green is the start hold and the purple is the top. And you can also use the, the ones you've used for your hands, you can also use for your feet. Well, this one looks pretty hard. Just imagine if you had this wall in your house. That must be so inspiring. I would train a lot. Almost a flash. Oh, so tiny holds. Okay, I'm gonna give it one last go. The second to last hole is really, really bad, but now I know. I just need to uh, not really use it so much. Just kind of lean on it uh, and really focus on that right hand because that is a little bit better. I mean, I think you could even probably cross from the right hand all the way over here, but then you're gonna get like a pretty big barn door, I think. So it's probably better to just try to go right hand but not put so much weight on this because it's really bad, so it's just gonna pop if you try to pull too hard. exactly what I thought would happen if I pulled too hard because it just like popped. I don't know though, maybe it is easier to just cross. Not go from the left hand but just cross over. You get a big swing but on a training board like this there aren't so many like fun moves like you see on the on the normal bouldering walls. Um, like the root setters try to make it fun for the climbers. This is just focusing on the strength uh, pulling power, just like pretty straightforward. Like this one is just like right, left, right, left. Um, but it, for sure, like this is much better training than doing all the like jumpy technical stuff that. It's a very big cross. Maybe I should just try it the same way I have. I don't know. Maybe cross. I'll see how it feels when I get there. hard on the fingers. I feel it so much more when I pull hard on the bowler like this. I actually just drove down to Kristiansand just for this video. Uh, it's four hours uh, down here and it's gonna be four hours back. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're not ready. Gonna see you guys uh, next time.